We've seen Sissy with that tape recorder. We don't know what she's... She's looking in there like, I guess she wants to record. I don't know. Maybe she wants to record her future daughter-in-law. Maybe she sees something in her that we don't see. But I think all of us know that her daughter-in-law is up to no good with those damn bug eyes. Is it me or does every time she talks to Franklin, her eyes are like always big. And her lips always puckered up like, well, you can protect us now, but can you protect us later? Alright y'all, Snowfall Season 5, Episode 7 in the books, and yo, this one should have been called The Calm Before the Storm, because I have a funny feeling some shit about to go down next episode, and the first thing I want to say is, I think Louis, Louis is going to be the cause of all the, the chaos, all the carnage that goes down in episodes to come. So we already see the ego battle between her and Franklin, right? So she doesn't like the fact that Saint is like the guy calling the shots like she wants to be the hbic so the friction is there they just had a family meeting and agreed that lee was going to handle kane have a conversation with them make a deal squash everything louis takes matters into her own hands pretty much goes into business for herself even though they all agreed this is what we're going to do she go and does the opposite so now she gets buckley punk ass involved okay uh, DeBarge's uncle gets him involved and wants Kane taken out. Of course, he's like, yo, you sure you want to do this? Because uh, it's, it's going to cost you. She's going to pay whatever. But I already know, like, listen, he wants more than money. He wants that ass. Okay? <laughs> he don't just want the dollar bill. He wants what's between them legs. All right? He wants that moisture. I'm sorry. I was, I was nasty. But look here, y'all. Oh, Louie. She's about to fuck a lot of shit up, and I think we're going to get our main casualty because throughout this uh, show, like, our core characters have all made it out. Lee, Saint, Jerome, and Louie. And, of course, uh, uh, Gustavo, Oso, and Teddy. Fuck him, I'm going to get to him in a second. Alright, so, I think next week, and I hate to say it, y'all, you know, and I hope I'm wrong, you know, I don't want to take pride in the fact that I'm right because Jerome is my favorite character of Snowfall. But when you watch enough shows, you know that when a show has an episode uh, focused on a certain character, okay, that character usually gets taken out either the episode after that or the episode after that. This really focused on Jerome and how he is tired. That brother is tired. I guess he fought in Vietnam. He got some PTSD. Never got help for his problem. Okay, so it shows when he's at the, uh, I think, the, the vet clinic or whatever, the, the vet center, and he's listening to the testimony of a vet that that's that's damaged. And Jerome can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? That's some good acting, by the way. And geez, I can't remember his name. I just always see him as Jerome. That's how good he is playing this character. And it's like he's tired. And he's just ready to be at peace. And the scene where he's just sitting there just looking out and just enjoying nature and looking at the water with the fish. And it's like, like a calm peace comes over his face. Kind of like Thanos sitting down after what happened in Infinity War. And he's like, it's done. I have a feeling Jerome is about to go, and I hate to say that. And so he he just he wants to change his life around. He wants to do something. He proposes to Louis. She says yes. He vows to always protect her. He's at the height of his happiness right now. And what did Denzel tell Will? I know I keep bringing this shit up. What did Denzel tell Will? Whenever you're at your your highest, that's when the devil go to attack him. I think Jerome is going to be like our first our first main casualty, and I hate to say that. But it's because of Louis. Louis's gonna start a big ass war because, like, like a Saint and um Leon said, look, Kane is an OG. Okay, he knows a lot of fucking people. He has a lot of connects. You don't want to do this. So this is not like Scully. You know what I'm saying? Even though Scully will be a problem too, but Kane is an OG, triple OG. Everybody know this nigga. A lot of stuff is about to go down, y'all. All right, and I'm I'm about to get a Teddy punk ass. Let me tell you something. Teddy can kick fucking rocks. I used to think Teddy was that nigga. He is not. Okay, Teddy is a bitch ass. But he's very smart. He's very uh, strategic. He's in the CIA. But as far as being a G, street certified, no. He's sitting there with a hat. You, couldn't, you know what? And y'all, he couldn't even look also in the eye when he apologized to him. He's looking down. That's how you know he a bitch ass. Yeah, um, I, I shouldn't have left you like that. Uh, I got shot. And my brain just went all over the place, and 
I should have never left you. Could not look the man in his eyes. The whole time Oso's looking at him. And I think Oso sees, because he has a poker face the whole time. It's always hard to tell what he's thinking. But I think it's going to get to a point where he's going to ride, choose to ride with Franklin over Teddy because at least Franklin came back for him. They done been through some stuff together. They survived a tiger. Okay, all Teddy did was come back with a hole in his chest and bark orders. Okay, like he pays the rent up in there. Saint slash so Saint even looked at him like, dude, you a bitch ass. Don't sit there and try to try to swell up on me and stick your chest out at me when you left us to die. But I guess he has to play the game for right now. The main focus should be Teddy. And that's what Sissy is doing right now. Sissy is trying to take down Teddy, but in the midst of Sissy trying to take down Teddy, I think Saint's gonna pay for it in some way, shape, or form. Saint is going to pay for it. We've seen Sissy with that tape recorder. We don't know what she's she's looking in there like I guess she wants to record. I don't know, maybe she wants to record her future daughter-in-law. Maybe she sees something in her that we don't see. But I think all of us know that her daughter-in-law is up to no good with those damn bug eyes. Is it me or does every time she talks to Franklin, her eyes are like always big and her lips are always puckered up like Well, you can protect us now, but can you protect us later? So yeah, maybe Sissy's trying to get to the bottom of her bullshit and help Franklin, I don't know. And I still think we're going to see Elton. Now, as far as Peaches, okay, Peaches, I guess his fate was uh, was revealed. He was a junkie, okay, so some of y'all called that. Some, some said he had uh, that stuff, and some said he was on that stuff, okay. So come to find out he's on that stuff, he done took the money and went to Thailand somewhere. But I have a funny feeling we haven't seen the last of Peaches. I think we're definitely going to see him again. So, y'all, this episode well, was cool, but I feel like, yeah, this is definitely the calm before the storm because once the hit on Kane is unsuccessful, all our war is going to break out. People are going to drop, and I feel like Jerome is finally going to get that peace that he's been looking for, but it's going to come in the form of the afterlife. And I hope I'm wrong. I, I really, listen, I would be glad if I'm wrong because I love Jerome, man. He's my favorite character on this show. If anybody, get rid of fucking Teddy. Because Teddy now is just working my nerves. So, y'all, that, that's all I got for this episode. What what, what, what do y'all say, man? I, I know I left some stuff. I'm just going uh, first impressions when I saw it. You know, what I think uh, is going to happen and whatnot. What I feel about certain things. So, y'all, comment freely below. Let me know what you thought about the episode, all right? And if you like and dig this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.